Iraqi army training is not a new concept, but they have been assigned a huge task. The Iraqi government has declared it will take back the ground they lost to the self-proclaimed Islamic State group. Military advisors from Australia and New Zealand are in charge of training in this sprawling military camp on the outskirts of Baghdad. There are about 900 Iraqi soldiers at Camp Daji. They only have three weeks here as they are needed in Ambar. What do you make of the performance? Um, so their baseline is, their foundation skills are okay. What we're doing now is we are really focusing in on improving their individual skills such as their shooting, their combat first aid, uh, and then we're taking them through squad and platoon level tactics focusing on the uh, urban environment. We talked to several of the men. Some candidly spoke about rusty and outdated weapons. Others said they had to buy their military uniforms, flag jackets and helmets with their own money. The US Defense Secretary uh, said that you guys uh -huh. lack uh, the will to fight. Uh -huh. Well, I want to send him a message clear from me. I'm Captain Special Operations Saad Al Saad. I tell him we are already have the knowledge and we already have the training and we're already in the ground. So if I want him to check his report because we are good to go so far. Yeah, but he was just commenting um, on the fact that you guys lost two strategic cities, Mosul last year and Ramadi in May. Correct, correct. Because if the Iraqi army who mistake happened, now we create our arts and we are able to defend about our country and now we are ready to defend. The effectiveness of the Iraqi army has repeatedly been called into question. Half of the army has already collapsed and there are reports of corruption and mismanagement. For foreign military advisors like the Australians, they say they are not building up an army from scratch. But time is not on the side. The government in Baghdad is not solely relying on these troops. But they need them long term. Other groups, like the Shia volunteer units, are heavily involved, and that could lead to a complicated outcome. There's a round in there. Military commanders say the new government has cracked down hard on corruption within the army, and they insist that their troops have what it takes to reclaim Iraq. Ahmed Maher, BBC News, Camp Taji.